Hi guys, I'm back with another one and in this one we are going to take a look at the Aikon's, Aikon F7 Mini V1.1 It's a 20 by 20 FC and let's take a look what's in the box and let's do a overview So, as we open the box we have the wires that are needed to connect to the uh, ESC and we have the FC itself. On the bottom we have the instructions or rather pinout and on the back side we have the features. So let's go over it. We have the F7 uh, gyro, uh, F7 uh, chip that's located on the back side. We have the OSD chip. We have the MPU 6000 uh, gyro. Uh, we have the built-in OSD flash for uh, data logging. We have five uh, UARTs and we have a um, wide range of voltage input. Uh, we have a VTX switch, cam controller and LED strip. So if we take a look at the, the FC, we have the VTX side, um, we have the signal input, we have the uh, smart audio, we have the power and ground. Uh, on the cam section we have the battery power 5 volt we have cam control video and, and ground on the left side we have a boot button we have the ample URs not to go over them all we have the uh, some URs here we have one more channel or rather two for 5 and 6 for motor channels and we have some the receiver section here so uh, to go over and compare to somewhat standard size flight controller um, here we have the Helination Talon uh, with, which is also 20 by 20 um, the Aiken one is slightly larger so if you are going to build uh, the with this FC please consider its size if you are doing a really cramped build so in the next step we are going to connect it to the ESC receiver and the VTX so let's go and do that for the power we are going to use the cable uh, connected to the, the ESC uh, we need to check the ports on the on this connector so we have ground battery we have uh, motor signals and we have current and um, UART uh, on the last port so uh, if you need to rearrange the wires you can simply use exacto knife as I showed you to lift these plastic tabs and reinsert the the wires where you need them. In my case, I already uh, done that. So we have the power to the flight controller through the ESC. Just to check, yeah, it's booting up. Next, we are going to connect the VTX to the flight controller. So, uh, what I like to do is uh, I like to power off my VTX straight from the V bed. Uh, you can use one of the ports here. That, uh, that is giving off the battery voltage so you can use this port here and connect it to the ground so 
to power off the uh, VTX but I'm only using the video signal so I just splice the wire here and I solder the wire to the video part I solder the VTX to the video here and your smart audio to your tree so we have the power to the to the VTX here we have the power to the cam and only thing left to do is to connect your your receiver so first pin is the ground next one is is your voltage and the last is your signal so this one was pretty easy and quick so to double check everything we have connected the ESC to the FC and we are powering all, all uh, powering the FC from the ESC we have connected the receiver and we have connected the VTX and this is your plug for the camera so once again to check everything if it's wired correctly we have the flight controller booting up we have the power to our VTX and our receiver is blinking and ready to be to bind with the transmitter so yeah uh, in the next step we are going to uh, put this everything these parts in uh, the frame and take it for a spin so yeah let's go do that <laughs> 